Hello everyone, we are Edge Europe and we are here to tell you about how we are remodeling Africa's theoretical based education through robotics training. When you hear about Africa, what comes to mind? Conflict and wars, diseases, poverty and hunger. Well, I'm here to tell you that Africa has a lot of natural resources, including gold and diamond. We are also known to be the most youthful continent in the world, with about 60% of the entire population being below the age of 25. The 7th UN General Secretary and Nelson Madiba Mandela, popularly known as the icon of democracy and social justice. All these people, including others, continue to make great impact not only on the African continent, but in the world at large, proving that Africans are indeed active, resilient leaders and creative entrepreneurs. Why then do we still have 60% graduate unemployment? We believe this is due to the highly theoretically based education system, which does not really develop the creativity skills. Hence, graduates come out of school with so much information, but they don't know how to put it to use. So with the examples given, you realize that most of them have exposure to practical education. More alarming to this problem is the number of illiteracy rates among women, especially women in STEM field. So how does EduRob come in? Through robotics training, Robotics education has elements of design, building, and programming. So with the design element, it will help the kids conceptualize and develop on their ideas. And the building and programming aspect help the kids to bring their ideas to reality and really see the impact of these ideas. As Margaret Smith said, kids are taught how to think and not what to think. And that is what EduRob seeks to do, to harness the power of technology through robotics education and empower kids, especially in Africa. Therefore, EduRob provides hands-on or project-based learning, which makes education attractive and less intimidating, hence increasing the number of females in STEM fields. The market for this venture is huge. There are about 10 million kids in Ghana alone, and within five years, we plan to target 10,000 of these kids, and charging $10 per client, we'll be getting 100,000 revenue per year. However, we've already started operations in China with six kids, and 50 more parents have contacted us willing to enroll their kids in EdgeRob. The average price in the U.S. is $60, which will increase this revenue further. We plan to generate revenues through direct sales, where members visit our space and pay membership fees, or we're visiting international and private schools and generate revenues for our services. In the long run, we'll franchise our ideas to interested parties, since we really want to make an impact in the country. We would also channel most of our resources and profits to the rural areas as part of our corporate social responsibility. Who are our competitors? They include Robotics Club at Ghana Planetarium, which operates every Saturdays and charge per session, making them expensive. There's also the Ghana Robotics Academy Foundation and the Ashesi Robotics Experience, which only organize annual workshops for high school kids. This makes us first movers to operate all year round develop key skills such as public speaking and teamwork skills. We also target kids because we believe that it's much easier to shape the minds of such young ones. This is where we are so far. We started operations in one client's house and we've gotten two funding tracks from ASU's Venture Devils and Chain Makers where we use the money to purchase kits and other supplies. We want to start or continue operations here in the US so we are registering the business and developing strategic partnerships with schools and existing robotics clubs in Ghana, as well as creating awareness so as to facilitate our operations. Currently, we are looking for investors to support this venture and seeking more funds to scale up. And we hope to research and use our own kits, such that each kid we work with has access to one kit. These are pictures of our clients and some projects we've done in the community. And these are some testimonials from parents and other entities we've worked with. I am Imanola Kankam, CEO and robotics trainer of this venture and a mechanical engineering major. I've been involved in robotics education for about seven years, representing the country in the World Robot Olympiad in Malaysia 2012. I'm Intisama Ahmed, a graduate student in global logistics. I'm passionate about education and women empowerment. I love working with kids and have experience working with refugee kids. Our tech co-founder is Vaidela Kuchino, the CTO robotics trainer for this venture. He's a telecommunications engineer and he also has experience working as a robotics coach for four years.